Hey, welcome to my channel, AJ Audio. Tonight, we're going to be reviewing the Behringer Wing Rack software. All right, the Wing Edit app. Um, so I'm just going to take you through, you know, everything on the app. You can uh, use this app with a laptop. Okay, so uh, let's get started. I initialize uh, the console and let's get going. Hope y'all had a wonderful day. You know what I'm saying? Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Or you can wait a little bit to see if this video helped you out. But listen, I'm trying to reach a thousand subs. I need a thousand subs, y'all. Y'all help your boy out if the content good. It's been a while. You know since i dropped the video so hey listen i'm back and hey i'm here to help you thanks for coming to the channel again and let's learn how to use this software all right so here we go let's bring this mic a little close over here where i have this laptop all right so we're gonna go home all right so on the home uh page you see that you know if you come here you have your input you have your tags, you have your name, icon, your equalizer, your filter, you know, your low cut. So we're going to start in this box right here on the home, home tab. Let's see what we have here. Okay. And listen, we're going to learn this together. So, you know, if I'm, if I move too fast, you know, you can, you can run it back. So here we have our game knob. We should all know what game is, right? So, if we, you know, we want to set, uh, set our gang to this channel, we'll do it here. Uh, here, we have a 48 volt phantom power button. And you see that? You have to hold it to cut it on. See, look at that. That's pretty neat, guys. That's pretty neat. All right. All right. Let's go back to the home. All right. What did I do? Okay. Oh, okay look like it has us on routing but whatever all right let's get off that so it looks like when I hit the channel here on the local one it took me into the inputs the local inputs that's pretty cool to know all right so we have our mute button we have our trim we have our tags so let's let's you know click on tags and see what that do okay so it looks like it brings us up here looks like that's our matrix so if you come here and you see the blue it looks like that's probably our matrix or it could be our DCAs so as we get down to here we'll figure out what that is all right and I have used the Behringer wing for a couple shows now I just you know I, I just upgraded from the XR18 uh, and I do have a little experience with the X32 but today the shows is about the Behringer app the Behringer wing app which I'm using with a wing rack over in my my rack unit over there alright so here we have looks like our mute groups okay and uh, we have eight mute groups okay and if you come down here oh let me matter of fact I'm gonna get off the screen so you guys can see but I'm here with you all right so down here we have our mute groups all right so we're gonna figure out how to use that but we let's close this out oh um, to the bottom we have our talk uh, talk on talk a solo okay so down here I'm thinking this must be our talk back mics maybe it's a way we can set it up we'll we'll get to it and see we we learn it together all right we have our filter so we click on our filter look at that it, it brings us up so let's click okay so if we click the low cut down here on our equalizer we, we have a low cut you see that oh look at that low cut right here to the bottom so that's pretty cool now let's see 
how we get back to our home page. We go home. All right, so the equalizer is here, but we're going to get there. Okay, uh, as I skipped over name, icon, and color, let's go back. And here is where we would name our track. So we're on track one. So let's go ahead and name that. We'll just put, you know, a, a lot of people like to start out with, you know, a kick. But I'm going to start out with microphone just because I like to be a little different. So you go here to this icon and look here, guys. We have microphones. So let's click. Uh, let's just say it's a podium mic. I know it's weird because everybody would be like, no, let's pick this one. But no, let's go with that one. And you see down here it shows up. And up here it shows up. Color. Look at that. Okay, you could change the color. So uh, let's go with the yellow. Right? I like the way the yellow look on this recording. So here we have something that says light. And I'm dying to see what it do. So let's click on it. I don't, I don't understand what it's doing right now, but we're gonna keep it on, okay? So microphone, uh, we named it. We got our icon. We picked our color. So let's. Uh, oh, and here, where it says channel, you can. I believe you can go over the channel too. Let's try. Yes, sir. So. Mark, let's just say, matter of fact, let's just put keys. You know, I would just do a mono keys just for the sake of time and, you know, we're learning. So we'll go down here and we have our keyboards here, right? So let's pick one and we'll go with the icon. Uh, let's just do this green right here. And that's pretty much how you use that, okay? the name, icon, and color. And as we got to our EQ here, this EQ by hitting the low cut, let's click on our equalizer. So on our equalizer, um, we see that we have our shelf, our PQs, you know, and our low cut and high cut to, to the bottom. So, you know, if you hit that low cut, it already starts it out for you. And you know it has the L here where you can looks like we can drag it, but it's not moving, right? But if you come here, let's see. There you see that? Is you see it? Alright, so that's how we control that, right? Then the high. Oh, let's click high. And there we go. So that's how you control that to get a quick EQ set. Alright, moving on down. Here's our compressor, okay? Everything you have, you have your detector, peak, RMS, okay? Your auto envelope, um, attack, hold, release. So this is where you're gonna put the sauce on your compressor. And let's go up here. Oh, look at that, guys. Ladies and gents, look at this all the compressors that we can use look at this look at that okay now listen i don't want to fall in love with this because i want to try to get through this app with you guys and i don't want this video to be too long uh maybe i can get back on the screen with you guys because we're not we're not doing anything down here yet so yes, this is uh, the compressors, and it's it's everywhere. I mean, come on, Ben Wayne, really? Look at this. This is nuts. All right, let's go back to the factories. All right, so we have a solo. You know, okay, your X over mode on the compressor. The key filter on the compressor. And that's great. And we're still on channel two, channel one. We're doing the same thing. You know, we're just going 
down the sections and fetch processor and by the way up here is where you will turn it on okay so let's go with the fetch oh wow there's nothing there huh so let, let's just say we click on here uh, so we pick out oh okay so this is where we pick out type here's our fetch here okay and um, external we have our whole re all our reverbs look at that all reverbs 11 12 13 14 15 I mean look at this this is nuts and we're not done more effects look at these EQs combinators limiters exciters look at this pitch uh, pitch fits I'm dying to see what all these things do. All these plugins, I would call them. Look at all these EQs. I mean, you can put all these on your channel. And I'm thinking here, look. 16, guys. We have 16 that we can use. Look, we, we can use two of them on one channel. Wow. And we still have our EQ here. And by the way, let's go up here. You could change your EQ, guys. And this is just like, this is not even including the ends that you can put on. So, I mean, the sound that you can create with this Behringer Wayne is nuts. And I like the way that the app kind of looks like the wing itself when you're, you know, controlling it on the hardware. And I, I really love that. The Abiranger did a great job with this. All right. So let's keep moving. Oh, and here. See, we. Oh, did I skip gate? Oh, forgive me, guys. We skipped gate. Oh, did I say that was the compressor? Yeah, I think I did. So I went here and was thinking that's our compressor but that's our gate okay I'm sorry guys and the compressor here is here but it's the same thing look at here we got this red compressor that's so nice all right same thing so we come down here and we see that we have our main sins uh, if you can see that up here in the left corner we have main one main two main three main four which is located up here we have four mains, guys. That's nuts. Listen, we already have four outs in the mains. We haven't even got to the matrix. We haven't even got to our bus yet. Beringer, you you did a great job. Okay, and here is where we can get to our, our bus sins. Okay, all the way through 16. 16 bus sins here. And that's pretty much everything on the channel. Now these is how you can turn on your compressor and your inputs, whatever you want to put in your inserts, right? And look at this, guys. I believe you can. can I, I believe you can move these around somehow. Once I figure, I mean, we got a roll, but yes, these can't. Oh, right here. Look at this. You can place it however you want to place it. You know what I mean? So you can set your chain, your vocal chain up any way that you want. And this is this is awesome. So we're going to go over the top here. Up here, guys. And then we'll come. Man, this video, the, the way I'm going, this video might be long. We're already 15 minutes in. Wow, guys, we might have to do a part two. We're going to do a part two because I want to try to keep this video under 20 minutes. So you guys are going to have to come back for part two. All right. So be with your wing <laughs> software review part one. Let's get it. So up here, you can lock it, I believe. I don't. But guys, I don't know what the lock is for. Okay. So we hit this and it brings us to our audio clock, our preference. 
okay remote general okay so we have every okay we can initialize the concert right here the console sorry guys right here so earlier I went all the way up to setup just by clicking here but if you're on the home page you can just get the setup right there which is very cool and very useful okay so here is our USB so you know if you got songs on a USB file you you can just put them right here okay USB right at the top so it's I mean it's right there guys SD card and you can see that I have uh, same God I don't know if we'll be able to hear because I don't know if I have it set up but let's see yeah I don't have it set up because the console is initialized so we won't hear it unless I go set it up but that'll be in part two or three okay because time is moving all right what's here okay I, I, so here is where we can copy our channels to certain areas whatever we want to do you know inputs mains we can copy it initialize it that's that's great and here I mean looks like a little Wi-Fi icon so we know what that's doing guys and I like the fact that most of this stuff is very important that's up here and it's right there where we can get to it right so that's pretty much the view of home did we miss anything i don't think so so guys i'm gonna wrap this part one up uh we went over the home tab you know our input oh okay let's so look guys if you hit your input look it takes you to to another area of your input all right you have your trim your balance okay this definitely is probably the gain which it is okay the 48 phantom power so you know you it takes you to, so that's the same thing here all right so home and then your your second area here which I I don't know the name for it <laughs> We went over it. Uh, it has your trim balance, your filter, your low cut. So, I mean, pretty much you can control everything from the home button, right? Inside of here, which is awesome. Uh, looks like we have our pan. Is that our pan? What you think? Uh, no, that's what I mean. So, I believe that could be our pan, and I think it is. No, is that it? Let's see why. Oh, wow. So our pan, our pan is up here. So let's go back here. Yeah, see, it's not letting, uh, letting me move that. Now, guys, we're learning together, okay? So come back for part two, and we're going to continue to go through this together. Listen, this is AJ Audio. I appreciate your time. Guys, hit that subscribe button. You know, help help your boy reach them thousand subs. Let's keep this let's keep this content coming. You know, we can, we can all use it. And guys, if you know anything about this, Beer and Win, and you, and you want to help, hey, help a brother out, cause you know I'm teaching uh, young volunteers at my church uh, how to use this. And at a venue that I work with, I'm I'm helping people who really want to do this. So if you know any tips that can help me out, uh, as I learn this Beringer uh, Wing software and we do it together, let me know. But until then, hey, your boy got to go. Peace.